World-renowned cancer researcher Judy Mikovits turned herself into po university police yesterday after complaints were filed that she stole computer items and notebooks from a lab at the University of Nevada, Reno. News 4's Dina Kupfer has the criminal complaint filed against Mikovits and got an exclusive interview with her lawyer. Dina, what'd you find out? Well, according to these court documents, the state has filed two complaints against Judy Mikovits. Count one, possession of stolen property. Count two, unlawfully taking computer data and other equipment, both listed as felonies. Judy Mikovits was the lead researcher at the Whittemore Peterson Institute before she was fired in August. The institute alleges she, quote, wrongfully removed lab notebooks and other proprietary information, end quote. The criminal complaint states that Mikovits directed her former research associate associate to take various items in order to prevent the true owner from again possessing the property. Mikovitz's lawyer, Scott Freeman, told me his client is baffled at the criminal charges filed against her. She doesn't understand the process uh, because she would never think in her entire life she'd be subject to the process. From our perspective, uh, nobody uh, took those materials with any type of criminal intent. So uh, that's what we're investigating. And Mikovitz waived her extradition hearing set for December 19th in Ventura County and turned herself into the university police Monday. Authorities told me they have recovered all of the items believed to be stolen. Now experts are looking through those items to determine if there was, in fact, any criminal intent. We're going to pursue uh, any criminal wrongdoing in this case. Um, that's what our main focus is, is to... Um, uh, complete an investigation, look at uh, the criminal aspect, and then submit the case to the Washington County District Attorney's Office. And after turning herself in Monday, Mikovits was taken into custody by the Washoe County Sheriff's Office, but she was released the same day. We will continue to follow this investigation and bring you the very latest. Bill? All righty, Dina, thank you very much.